dude, Pippin cows. <laughs> I'm popping cows. <laughs> Trevor Wallace, I finally have a tour date. I won tour date. Uh, two shows. Tacoma, Washington on March 22nd. First show sold out. Second show uh, is getting there. So, yeah, see me. I'm going to start dishing out a bunch of tour dates pretty soon. TrevorWallaceComedy.com. Tacoma, Washington. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, Blau Comedy, Blau Comedy. Uh, March 23rd to the 25th. I'll be in St. Louis, Missouri. Those tickets are going. I think two shows are already sold out. So hurry up and go. Uh, April 6th to the 8th. Uh, I'll be in Buffalo, New boop, York. Boop. Uh, April 14th to the 15th. I'll be in Richmond, Virginia. May 5th to the 6th. I'll be in Des Moines. Uh, May 19th the 20th i'll be in omaha june 2nd to the 3rd i'll be in toledo those tickets are going to be on sale very soon june 23rd to the 24th i'll be in san fran july 6th to the 9th i'll be in washington dc guys go on my website there's many many more dates uh that is blogcomedy.com blogcomedy.com thank you everybody who's done the survey if you haven't done it yet you got a quick couple seconds you want to help us out it's in the link of the description that's all uh just getting to know you guys a little bit more are we in? Start, start are we in? <laughs> We're in. We're in. Are we in? Dude, it's Pi Day. Think about the amount of people who got pussy by going 3.14159. Zero. Zero. Zero? There's you no way, think, dude. You don't think nobody got hose off that? I mean, maybe, but, but a, she was homeless and needed a place <laughs> to stay. I don't think so at all. I think there was the one kid, it was always sophomore year, Miss Belvedere's class. And Mrs. Belvedere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mrs. Belvedere was a teacher? Yeah, yeah, sophomore at math. I was a senior in the class, but most people oh were sophomores. Oh my God. Mrs. Belvedere looks like a pumpkin to me in my head. Is um, that wrong or right? I don't know. Well, don't, you know what a pumpkin looks like. <laughs> I do, but like, she's a nice lady. I'm sure she's super nice. But right. her son was a show off in the class. He knew I was like, three for one for one, five, nine, and then we just would keep going. And most people are like, yeah, okay, dude, we get it. But there'd probably be one girl in the back and they'd be like, oh, I want that cream pie. That's aggressive. Yeah, so much. <laughs> but it's pie day. Cream pies are overrated, but I will say it is pie day, but I will say the 3.1489 whatever guy didn't get any vagina in high school based off that. But I will say the person who memorized pie has the type of brain that well, probably is going to be a it. tech guy. Do you know what I mean? So maybe now, now yeah. when he's like 29, 30, he's making bags at Google, then he's getting vagina. So technically sort of in a roundabout way, he is getting vagina off pie. But do you know what I mean? Like his brain is probably super powerful so he can create stuff. Are you Google. on Adderall right now? Yes. You were you took this and like ding, 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 ding. No, no, no. And then he went to Harvard Law and then got sucked <laughs> off by a squirrel. Whoa. Pie day. All right. But you know what I mean though. Of course. <coughs> I do. Transit of property. Transit of property. The dude in the, the future. What is this? Who so this knows is, the most numbers of pie? This is the guy who knows the most numbers of pie. But when you Google his name and then wife, <laughs> literally no pictures come up. <laughs> Damn. He's not getting laid. Damn. No. <laughs> well, he's still rattling off the numbers. He doesn't have time for bitches. <laughs> what do, you is about do you understand what this guy does on a regular basis? This guy polishes a revolver. Why does, <laughs> I mean, why I does math look more scientific on a chalkboard versus a whiteboard? I don't know. Is that just me? No, 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 no. I, I believe you. I think it's a, what's that movie with, Dude, with uh, Matt Damon was a, was a, was a fucking smart guy. What is it? Oh, I know it. Oh, hey man. How's them apples? Catch on the rye. No. Close. Uh, <laughs> no. It, the one with the janitor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm Goodwill a hunting. Goodwill hunting. Yes. Trap new a movie. Oh, you guys. I know movie. a movie. Wow. Um, but, but this is I, Goodwill hunting shit. When you but, saw Matt Damon right on the chalkboard, yeah, yeah. Like, wow, this guy's a genius. The second I walked into a class in college and they had a chalkboard, not a whiteboard, I go, well, not paying attention today. Can't. Mm -mm. Can't. Uh, what is what was the the subject in college that you felt like you did the best at? Besides anything film related. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, you were a film degree. Yeah. Was there a hard class that you went to? Poetry. Oh, dude. Reading. Uh, uh, I almost said Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> Scientology is fire. Is it hot take? It's what do you not. Mean? What do you? What, it's not. What but do you if like you're, about it? It's not. But if you're lost in the world. And you go, dude, I don't know what I'm doing. You just join Scientology. Boom. Bro, you have a join a fucking kickboxing class. Why are you going to Scientology? Yeah. What do you mean if you're lost? I'm trying to get clear. Is getting clear, clear. getting jerked off? Like pre-check? Yep. But what? no, you get clear. They, It's like therapy. Wait, what do you mean? Well, getting clear. This is what this is what they do. I'm talking in broad strokes here, but hear me out. This is what you're they do. You're definitely on Adderall today. Of you're, course. We're, we're talking Harvard, Pi, mm. and now astrology and Scientology. Astrology. Same thing. It is kind of the same thing. Nothing's real. But they sit you down to, they sit you down to get clear and they ask you a bunch of like really like invasive questions and they're essentially trying to get the Thetans out. So then the Thetans are like the the so I'm serious. This is Scientology. I'm you not know joking. You're serious. That's the sad I know. part. The Thetans are inside you because they're like dead souls from years and years ago. So they're inside you because you ingested them as a baby. And then to get the Thetans out, which is like the bad energy, you have to get clear, meaning you have to like say your deepest darkest secrets. But what they do is they record those goddamn sessions. 
And then so you're like, whoa, I when I was nine, I killed 14 frogs in a well. Oh, and they and, hold it against you? Yes, sir. And that's why that's why Tom Cruise and those motherfuckers are still well, in it. That's why you got to say allegedly. A bunch of times? <laughs> yeah, I killed a bunch of those frogs. Allegedly. Allegedly is such a funny word. Yeah, it's I just came an quick, asterisk. allegedly. Well, putting an asterisk next to everything, that's what I'm going to start doing. What do you mean? I'm just going to put an asterisk next to everything because then it's like, well, what does it mean? And then I'm just going to somewhere on my bio or like maybe on my leg will get tattooed. Like I may or may not have meant those statements. Getting like, that. Damn you hot as fuck. Shoddy. Asterisk. Shoddy's funny. Shoddy. Well, I can't even say shorty because generally all women are taller than me. Wow. You know what I mean? What is it like kissing? Just eye to eye contact? No, it's needed face. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fight. Um, it, 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 when it's. Have you ever had to ahead. get on your tiptoes to kiss someone? No. Only my dad. <laughs> <laughs> He's tall. He is. God, six one. The I fuck happened to me? He. I don't know. He. I don't. Maybe that is <clears throat> six foot one energy. Is leaving the family. Yeah. You can't leave the family you can't five dunk nine. Dunk on some pussy somewhere else. Yeah. But here's if you leave the family five nine, bro, you got confidence. Well, they didn't know you left. <laughs> They're like, hold up, dad's still here. He's underneath the cabinet. <laughs> I got a DM from Joe Exotic. Can no, you didn't. just reference this? It's the weirdest thing that's ever Joe happened. Exotic, I think, is still locked up. Is he trying to beat? He's he trying to do something. Um, but I don't. I just got a random DM. I don't even follow him. And then I get this DM. He goes, hey, can I add you to my campaign site as an endorsement and put one of your photos and a link to your Instagram? And then he puts his website, www.joeexotic2024.com. Joe Exotic is now running for president from the pen. Hold on. President or like I don't fucking comptroller know. or some shit? I don't know. Maybe the president of Oklahoma, which really all you need Where is, is like he an from? Nebraska? Pick. No, Florida. Oklahoma. Or he lives in Oklahoma. What? He's locked up. I don't know what he's doing, but I got a DM and I go, why? Who? Is he in jail? Yeah. Yes. Here's, his, here's Joe Exotic 2024.com. He's running for president from federal prison. Dude, that font, this, this screams Microsoft Paint. This font is so fucking dated. I don't even So under- many letters. Here's the thing. I get boomers off the internet. All this is what okay. You what? don't have to click on a website. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, go. You don't have to click on a website to be like, I'm 18 or older. You should have to click on a website if you're too old to be like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm over 57. And you're not allowed on the internet. This is a problem. This is boomer font. This Even is an American problem. flag with just what Helvetica size eight. Yeah. But also start a video. It, you can't even oh, hold on, there's a video? No, I'm saying like uh, do a video. Do you think you had sex with Look those tigers? This Photoshop I job. <laughs> his hair looks like mine um so i have a question though you can run for president like anybody can do that yeah i mean i don't think you to make it on the ballot's a different statement but just to run you know what's the what every, I mean, there's been like five comedians that have ran for uh president every time i see this type of stuff i think there's an a tax advantage or they're trying to funnel money through the campaign because those comics that ran for president they're not winning he, he he knows he's not winning. Kanye knows he's not winning. I think there's a massive tax advantage. There's got to be Bank? something. Yes. Isn't it sad when people go, I got married just for the taxes. You son of a bitch. Love yes. your wife. Well, maybe they do love, love her. Maybe they do love now, her, but they don't. I, but the, 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 mar- but the getting manliness? married is stupid. Uh-oh. Hot it, take. It's not. A, no. Dude, well, I do. Why, why do I have to tell the government that I'm getting married? Why do we have to tell anybody? The government knows everything. You ever been, you've been accepting cookies? accepting them dude, dude here's why really I, nilly here's why i know that cookies are sketchy is they're trying to like make them sound fun now yeah they're like crunch crunch it's cookie time where the fuck is the government <laughs> where i talk about the government is the government wrote that get your milk it's time to dunk your cookies where's yeah. the kids if you give a mouse a cookie Where's the gun? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Why does it feel, what is a cookie? And if you try to Google what a cookie is, you go to a website, it's just going to give you more cookies. Also, just do it without me asking. Also, just, just fucking do it. Can my computer be like, I'm full. I'm full. My, I don't need dessert. No, my, no cookies. What is it with laptops? I mean, they get a year in and they just start breathing heavy. Um, I'll tell you what it is. They switch it's the fucking, heart of a pug and they just stop working. It's Apple. Is it? Apple is the government if you think about it. Apple's like, here, I'll give you this product. Isn't it cool? You go, yeah. They go, cool. It's going to work for about a year and a half. And it's going to start yeah, fucking crumbling. There's too many goddamn cookies. But here's what I hate. You get a laptop. It's fire. You're fucking airdropping. Yep. Bop, bop, fast, quick, boom, edits. And then I, it's a year in, maybe two years in, and this bitch is breathing heavy. I, I need it. a sleep apnea mask to charge it. But then I start deleting a fuck ton of stuff. I'm looking up YouTube videos. It's like, <clears> delete <throat> Chrome, uh, delete old files, delete old project files. I do all that. Bitch still runs the same. 
I took 50 pounds off your shoulders. Run faster. I'll tell you what, though. Have you, because we both use Final Cut, have you deleted render files? I just learned I this trick. Holy fuck. That's probably it took, what it is. It took like a terabyte and a half off my... Really? Yes. Because I'd be going to like the, the storage shit and it just says like other and it's just yeah. like... Donk. Yeah. yeah. It's, I it's, always thought that was porn. It's render file, dog. It's crazy. I'm Can telling you. Can you show me where to do it after? Yes, sir. I can show you right now. Cut. We're back in. You didn't <laughs> show me anything. I didn't. <laughs> you look like you're about to say something about storage. Computers. How, where, do, where do you put all the footage? Uh, external drives. Okay, good. Yeah, but the uh, so a lot of times, like with a computer, like even though you're like clearing off shit from it, still just like changing the file directories over and over again can slow it down. So what really helps is if you just do a fresh install. That'll make your computer feel what? like fresh install. Yeah, like fresh reinstall the OS. <laughs> like reinstall the Mac OS. Oh, make sure like you have everything restart backed back up. to factory. Yeah, dog. That shit will make it. But do you lose up. all the data and all the? You have footage? to have it backed up. Yeah. Well, dude, that's what happens when you break up with your girlfriend. What? You go back to factory settings for like relationships. You do, but worse. It's worse. <laughs> think, factory settings, but you need somebody to start you every day. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, well, what I'm saying is factory settings. Like, so you go on a date and some girl's like, Ugh, what's your dog's name? Oh, bitch. Greta, how do you not know this? Dude, I, you got to start. I got to tell you everything. What I, This is what I want. I want a fucking thumb drive and I put it into a fu- my date's neck. She downloads all the information. She don't ask me fucking questions. Like, oh, whoa. So you want to fuck yeah, your mom? That's, yes. That's, but that's part of. What? What did you say? <laughs> God damn. You probably noticed that there are some strange tall boys of beer in the bottled water section of your local store. Well, let me tell you something. It's not beer, okay? It's actually a healthy beverage brand called what? Liquid, Liquid Death. Death. Dude, they got sparkling water. They got regular water. Now they got iced tea. Okay, this iced tea that we've both tried is freaking incredible. You know what my favorite flavor is? I'll tell you. It's called Rest in Peach. Okay. Yeah, I'm an armless Palmer kind of guy. The classic Arnold Palmer, banger, dude. Banger, dude. And all these teas are like, oh my God, there's so much sugar. No, there's not, dude. It's only six grams of sugar of real agave. Agave is fire. So good, dude. So good. And it has a microdose of caffeine, 30 milligrams, dude. If you want a little microdose, get a little. Pop in your freaking step, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. You got that B vitamins and the but, arts fire on them. Dude, they're okay. sick. And yeah. if you mess with recycling, which we both love. I know it's not real, but we both <laughs> we both love recycling. We don't got to worry about freaking plastic because it comes because, in aluminum cans. Yeah, I don't know dude. if you know this. Plastic bottles aren't actually recyclable. and They're just sent to landfills. Whoa. Stupid. Oh, do you guys want to kill dolphins? No. Well, then freaking drink liquid death, okay? Drink liquid death. All right, so now... We'll tell you where to get it. All right. You can find Liquid Death healthy beverages at Amazon or at a retail near you. The tea right now is only at Amazon. So go on Amazon, okay? And for our Stiff Socks and Lizards, dude, you get 20% off your first Liquid Death apparel purchase available exclusively at liquiddeath.com backslash socks, okay? Exclusions may apply. Liquiddeath.com backslash socks, 20% off if you want some apparel. And guys, if you want the freaking new Liquid Death iced tea, go on Amazon. God damn. I, I hear you. Yeah. But if you say that's part of the fun, it's I'm going to flip this fucking table. <laughs> I don't even have fun. a table. <laughs> it's part of the fun. Uh, parts of it. Parts that's of it. fun for you? Because you can riff. I, the, dude, the amount of bits I've gotten off dating. Is, I know. And, and I know. that's not why I go on dates is for yes, bits. Hey, but there, I mean, parts of it. Yes. No. But like, I mean, when you're on the date and she's like, how did you get into comedy? You're like, are we going to do this with no podcast microphone? I'm just going to say this for one yeah. audience member. Yeah. Put a blue chew ad in my date or a blue chew. In Sexual. your date? Could be. Maybe. But I do feel that. But it is a very like start and stop. Yeah. Like, Here we go again. Where's your family? How's your sister? Still I, got that rack on her? My sister or your sister? I, your sister is a rack. And don't even t- say this. Just, I've never seen it, but I think you've mentioned it one time. And I've said it a bunch of times with the podcast now. It hasn't been confirmed. It doesn't matter. Sister, I'm just joking. You're very sweet. What I'm saying is, if you go on a date with a lady, and I understand that there is, the riff sometimes is fun, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But for the most part, I do feel like I'm just like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Silver Spring, yeah. Maryland is where I'm from. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was close to D.C. So it's kind of, it does. A, blah, 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 blah. Right. Well, I think it can either be <clears throat> fun or you're like, if it's not, if you're not connecting, then it's like, it feels like you're, it's like a job interview. Yeah. It Where does. you're just like, oh, well. so you ever shook hands after a date? All right. You ever done nothing after a date? That's the fun. That's the, like not even a handshake. Just like, all right. Yeah, yeah, call me. I mean, definitely. Yeah. What? What? Is, who's supposed to text who after the date? I mean, I don't know if there's like hardened rules I here. think there, I think, 
I would say people have at least an expectation. Like, I think there's definitely uh, in a lady's mind, maybe, I don't know. I think it's like, because I'll hear like other girls ask me for advice or other girls will, over here. They'll be like, it's been a day and he hasn't texted me yet. And they'll be like, oh, give it a day, then text. Like there's the unwritten. Yeah, I think like if, if we're talking, if we're talking like social norms here, I think the, the dude. But what else are we talking I don't, I mean, you know, because it, it, there's, there's so many different nuances to this thing. It's like, when, ow, women are like, why, women are like, why can't, why can't I text them? Right, but, so, but, you know what I mean? So I'm just talking social norms here. I think like, here's the thing for me, if I like had a really good date, like actually connected well, and I wasn't just like, oh, you got tits. Like I was like, oh wow, this girl's like really, really nice. I've, there's a, there might be some type of future here. I will text them that night and be like, and be like, wow, I had such a good time. Like blah, blah, blah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, that's like, I mean, I don't know. That's, but that's, a, that's rare cases. I swear to God, I've probably done it like three times. Like, it's not like a, it's. So the rest, you, wait, wait, you just let it like. The rest, I probably let it simmer and then maybe. You let the wait, environment. I wait like maybe heal. two days. Two days? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's like, that's what I do. But I mean, every, I think every case is different. Is that generally what you well, do? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, like I, a, a while ago I went on a date and I just remember that like, I was like, oh, she'll text me. And then she was probably like, oh, he'll text me. And then I just yeah. never talked to her. But mm -hmm. I had a great time on the date. Yeah. She was super cool. And then schedule just got busy. We had a good conversation, good riff. And then it was just like, all right. Yeah. I think the problem is like when, and I, I'm not saying that you were playing games, but I think that a problem with like dating is like, I think there's like these weird, like not weird. It's like people just start playing games. It's like, oh, I don't want to show her or him a that I, that, too, too much yeah, up they, front. Too much up front, yeah. but also like this weird, like, it's like a power struggle thing that always, you have to get over all this fucking shit, then you can be yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that the part of it's part. so That annoying. part's annoying. You know what part I didn't miss is the texting rules. Yeah, that's what I mean. Women love to do the shit where they're <laughs> like, all right, he took 10 minutes to respond, I'm gonna take 20. But then you don't want to text back immediately because then you're like, oh, it's the same thing I do when a Postmates driver calls me and tells me I'm out front. I act busy. I'm like, oh, I'm heavy breathing. I'll be right there. You sleep by the door. I'm fucking touching myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why you're breathing heavy. I ordered, yeah, I ordered <laughs> Cinnabon at 3 p.m. I'm not doing well. But it's just, it's just, so then if she takes 20 minutes to text back, I'll take 40. You take 40. She takes 80. I know, if I she know. takes 80, I'm touching myself again. Yeah. It's, it, it's stupid. I don't, it's all this rigmarole. But here's the, here's the interesting part. Does it matter? You can break. You can break the power struggle by just relinquishing it. The mo the moment. Well, well, the what moment. Do you mean by that? What's up? What do you mean by that? But just what I mean by it. that is like the whole idea of like, oh, she took twenty minutes. Now I need to take twenty minutes, or you don't. Well, or she. What I'm saying is a relinquish it. Meaning like, if she takes twenty minutes to respond, just respond immediately. If if you're if you're trying to be done playing these games, of course, and also, of course, of course. I've said this a million times in this fucking podcast, and I know it's like way easier said than done. But like, if you practice like full transparency. I think it's the best way to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I've, I've texted in the past. Hey, um, I'm not really trying to play games here. Like, if we want to like have have a conversation, let's have it. But if you're trying to play this 20 minutes, 20 minutes, like let, we don't we don't have to do this. You've said that too. Yes, I go. We don't. I go. The I know. I know. In the beginning of the thing, there's all this like I don't. I don't think I say power struggle, but like I par to paraphrase it, I was like, we don't. Such a businessman. Well, I'm. If you, but if you say I it, get it, if you say it, it. It's either if she reacts weird, then you go cool. I know this is not gonna. Right. I know this is not gonna work. No, I get that. You know, but I think starting. I think you're right in a sense of like, if the more games you play up front, the more you're putting on this fake facade of who yeah. you are, and then it takes longer. Well, yeah, you can just break it down by being like, right. I, I, I think there's. I don't even think you have to say there's a. I don't think there's a future, but I'm like, you can say like, listen, I think we're both adults here. Like, I'm gonna be fully transparent with you. I had a good time on the date. I kind of don't want to do these wait. 18 minutes to text back because you have to if you're busy then wait but like just know from my end i don't think of less of you if you text me right back we're good here like I, you know you would say all that over a text though <laughs> that seems way too much yeah just don't but it, it seems way too much if the if the girl at that moment's not like ready to hear that and i mean you need to suss it out yeah. but do you know what i'm saying like I, I don't in every situation i don't think that that's warranted yeah but i do think that if you don't want to play those games you can be you can be open and see if the if that's reciprocated or not. And I've I had, think it depends because <clears throat> I've had both experiences. One where it just felt like game, but one where she was genuinely busy. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm actually glad you're not hitting me up every second because you're busy. You're doing shit. Great. Love that. Yeah. But what I've realized is like if I like if I forgot to text somebody back, then they'll take also a day to get back to me. <clears throat> but if they respond and then I immediately respond, they kind of go based off of you. That's what I mean. So you, but, so but you, that's you just, take, that's you just take fraud. The lead. Then everyone's fraud. What do you mean? 
Because it's like you were, you, so you, you could have been texting back immediately this whole time, but you're just on some bad bitch shit. That, but that's what I'm, it's so you God, hot people are fucking cool. Hot people are so fucking cool or not cool? Cool. Nah, I think it's cool, but most not hot cool. people are uncool. It's cool for like a second. Then you're like, right, right, right. Okay, I get it. Correct. Hot. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yay. Oh, it, God. You got me. Symmetry. Cool. Yeah. Why is your mouth on my. All right. <laughs> so, uh, but no, there's, there's this girl that in the last like couple of days we've been texting. Oh, and she, hold up. Yeah, hold on. Hold, 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 hold up. I'm hard. <laughs> I'm so um, glad I clicked that one. That I mean, dude, one. this is like the, the in the insane beginning beginning stages. I don't. I, I don't. We've never even had a date. The rest yet. is still unwritten. C Natasha Bedingfield. What? Bedingfield. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Her the last name is Bedingfield. I don't know this. Uh, see, there's another oh, wrinkle yeah. to this though, because wrinkle. studies have been done that show that if you wait a long time to text back, if you play that game, the other person actually thinks you're more attractive. Of course. Mm -hmm. well, it's the same thing that women make guys wait like four or five times to have sex because they want to build that tension. Mm -hmm. They know what they're doing. It's smart. Mm -hmm. It's you gave a man too much up front. He's going to get bored quick. Simple man. Simple man. Throw a tennis ball. I get. But if you throw <laughs> a tennis ball like this, you do the pump fake, but you don't actually throw it. Uh -huh. I'm going to be like, throw that fucking ball. <laughs> but here's the problem. But here's the problem with that game. You is come. Come correct, <laughs> correct, correct. But, the dog just lays down. I'm gonna get But here's a problem: if you do a bunch of pump fakes with the tennis ball, and you finally throw the tennis ball, and you get the tennis ball, and the tennis ball is not what you wanted, essentially, you're gonna have the same result, but you're gonna wait a month. Do you know what I'm saying? That's that's what always my that's always my problem with those games. If you're like, oh, I'm gonna wait four four dates or seven days before we have sex, blah blah blah. Okay, that's fine. But if you end up having sex and you're not, and the chemistry's off, whatever, then you just wasted a month. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I, I understand, I understand both sides. I get that, but I, I, I get that. But I think in, in, when you're like, I don't know, maybe like 22, you got time to play games. You got 28, you're more like, let's. What are we doing here? You know? Right. Yeah. So if <clears throat> if, if I'm a 26 year old bad bitch. I can still got some time. I can fuck around. I can play games. I think we all can fuck around. We all can play games. But what I'm saying is I think if you like it, my, my whole thing on this is let me find out if I like you fast. And if I like you, then, then let's go on the path. And you're including the intercourse in the liking. Correct. Yeah. I don't, I don't think holding back Cooter. I mean, dude, post not regret in the Mormon community must be crazy. Insane. I didn't I mean, think about that. Post yeah. nut regret on your wife? Dog, post nut regret on your <laughs> wife. Bro. You just swallow a rifle in the fucking fields. I well, feel like Mormons all Mormons have, like, have fields. Is that wrong? Mrs.? Huh? Mrs. Mrs. Fields? fields fire cookies. No, I feel... Well, also, Mormonism, you just get multiple wives. I don't know. I mean, honestly, most, most Mormon, Mormon things are crazy. not right, but the multiple wife thing, I think is correct. <laughs> I think it's right. But I feel like where your head's at, you want multiple husbands for one wife. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Oh, how would if uh, when when a woman starts telling me what her day is like, and I'm not, and I'm I'm in I'm in the middle of an edit, I would love to be like Theodore, you're in, and then he just sits down with her, have a chamomile tea, they talk about her day, and I can get my fucking work done. And then when I'm done my work, Theodore, get out of here. Let me get that cooter, Mary. <laughs> so you want just the sex part out of the relationship? No, but but no, this but I, I think it's a timing thing. You know, because yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes, sometimes you, oh, I'm, I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with fire here, but hear me out. I think there's sometimes, and it, all genders included, I think there's sometimes when you want to have sex, there's sometimes when you want to talk, but there's sometimes where you're fucking busy or you're not horny or whatever. Yeah. Wouldn't you want to just, wouldn't you want to just tap in someone else to handle it? Then you're, you know? Of course. You're not in though. No, I am. I'm totally in. Because, I, I mean, there'd be times where I, I think the hardest part was like separating the work from home. Yeah. Like, because I'd be working at home. I'd be trying to get an edit. Walks in like, hey, what are we doing for lunch? And I'm like, oh, you know, we could. And then I'm just trying to like, y you know. Yep. But I would you like to be Sebastian? Handle lunch. Mm. Do you want to eat Cooter? Fresh one. Market price. <laughs> so she needs a team. Yeah. I mean, I think here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. In, in, in just talking about it. Funny sounds good in practice. I mean, it's not going to work. Well, what about a nanny for your wife? Go on. It's exactly what it sounds like. Oh, exactly what there's I. There's a nanny who watches the kids, but there's a nanny who's just ready to go for your wife. 
Your wife's just like, God, I'm hungry. Nanny, boom, gets it. Your wife's like, you know what? Clark at work is really being a piece of shit. Nanny, boom, ear for you. Or go beat Clark's ass. Okay. <laughs> what if every person just had an intern? You know what I mean? So then it's who, like, whose intern would have the intern? Uh, just a younger intern all the way down. Whoa. I, I'm on board with the listening part because sometimes I'm not in the mood for an earful. Women be chatty. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> Fresh and fit. Fresh and fit. Ow! No, no, no. Let's go for the air horn. You know, it's funny. I, sometimes I be chatty too. So it's, it's you know, it's the same course, thing. It's yeah, course, sometimes you want to be like, oh, my set. And she's like, cool. I want to blow my fucking brains out. <laughs> if you talk about your stupid tag about 7-Eleven one more goddamn time. Um, yeah. But the sex thing's a problem. What is? What, 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 what part about sex is a problem? I think I can handle it. But if you had a, if you, part of the, the nanny's responsibility was to, was to be an emotional rock for her and then also to give her that rock. That's, you know, sometimes why are you laughing? Sometimes that's a problem. Rock meaning cock. Yeah. I don't think you want to be in a relationship. <laughs> what do you mean? You're like, if she can handle all my problems and also pipe her down. Yeah. But when, when I, when I'm, when I don't have enough time and here's vice versa. Do you know how many times that I start talking and like a, a girlfriend of mine in the past would be like, all right, enough. She, she would love to be like, all right, Asmarella, get in here. Listen to this guy's fucking bullshit. Right, right, right. Oh, oh, I'm horny. She it. would love no, to be like, I, dude, Asmarella, go suck this guy's I average cock. God damn. Whoa. Dude, that is the best kind of sound, best kind of notification in the entire world. Okay, it's you know why? Shopify. Because that's the sound of another sale on Shopify. And the moment another business dream becomes a reality. Who uses Shopify? I we don't know. Do. Everybody. Dude, we <clears throat> literally, I've used it for my own merch. We use it for Stiff Socks merch. Yep. I love it because the interface is so user friendly. Yep. Dude, I feel like, you know, I just downloaded, I feel like a businessman because it's like they're showing me graphs and time by time and what I'm making an hour versus this and that. It's really cool. But you can do that for, it doesn't have to be just merch. If you're selling trinkets, doodads, feet pics, whatever you're selling, you can yep. use that. Because Shopify covers every sale channel, okay? From an in-person POS system to an all-in-one e-commerce platform. It even lets you sell across social media marketplaces like TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram, okay? Packed with industry-leading tools ready to ignite your growth, Shopify gives you complete control over your business and your brand without having to learn any new skills in design or code. And thanks to that. 24 hour help and an extensive business course library, Shopify is there to support your success every freaking step of the way step feet love it now it's your turn to get serious about selling and try shopify today this is possibility powered by shopify okay sign up for a one dollar per month trial wow okay one dollar month per trial period at shopify.com slash socks all lowercase okay go to shopify.com slash socks lowercase and take your business to the next level today shopify.com slash socks socks is all lowercase god damn this is the saddest thing i'll say and this is not how life works but i want a girlfriend on the weekends you know where it's just like the weekdays i come here i record i'm writing i'm editing we're doing all that we get home we're right. doing shows at night i'm not letting anybody down right, right? i'm not neglecting anybody by not being available yep. but saturday sunday let's go to a fucking farmer's market bitch respectfully yeah respectfully. i love you you know let's do it because the weekends when i don't have somebody like to do stuff with yeah that's when i'm like oh fuck i need a companion i need somebody you know let's go to sea world let's do a day trip to santa barbara no the problem is all the all the good comes with all the bad you can't have just the good but that's what i'm saying that's why i preface it like this is not right and this is not that's me like being like i want my cake and eat it too right i mean it sounds it sounds great but even on the weekends, I think they're going to be like, well, Monday. And then, I mean, Tuesday. And then all of a sudden, full-time girlfriend. Well, I mean, this is the whole thing where you can, there's literally sex workers that do like a the girlfriend experience where it's like, here's uh, a bunch of money this weekend. We're just hanging out. I'm that's too, the saddest thing I've ever heard in my Jewish life. for that. I'll, be, <laughs> I'll cook you breakfast. I don't, but that's the thing. I wouldn't pay a dollar for an OnlyFans video. You think <laughs> I'm spending whatever for a fake girlfriend? But then she laughs and I go, that's not funny. Yeah, I mean, dude, you see that? All, I remember when we were in Vegas for AVNs. Like, yeah. there's a table right across oh, from us. God. This guy literally looked like he's been at Goldman Sachs for 44 years. He looked like his name was Golden. I think that is Goldman that Sachs. Him. Yeah, and he was trying to give her that Goldman Sachs. This girl was fine. She, yeah. the whole dinner, she's just taking selfies. He's not in any of them. Why would he be in any of them? He doesn't know how to use a fucking phone. Of course. He thinks he's a printing press. <laughs> <laughs> but you see that 
and you got to put in the work to find the love to keep love loving, Whoa. nourishing, right? Whoa, fortune cookie. But, I, you know, what do you want? That where you're like, oh, no, you, I don't want that. Do you, what? You don't want love or you don't want that Vegas guy? No, I want love. I do not want that Vegas guy. That That is what we always talk about. That is the scary proposition where that dude is bagged the fuck out. He's on his fourth wife. His kids hate him. Yeah, and he's yeah, alone yeah. in a mansion. And he goes, cool. Let me buy a woman in Vegas. Like, that's what that was. That is terrifying. So got terrifying, sad. But like, the, the problem is, where does... The inspiration, the motivation to, whoa, whoa, whoa hustle. Um, where does the, what, what's the word when you want to be successful? What is the fucking word when you strive to be successful? Drive determination. passion power. Determination. Where, thank you so much. Where does the determination have to sort of subside for you to be able to let love in? Because it, you can't be full throttle, fucking go, 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 and let love in. There's got to be something where you start dissolving the determination a bit. And I don't know when that fucking thing is. I think that's the problem. Yeah, it's like pedal to the metal. Cool, pedal to the metal. No wife, no kids. Well, I think, or if you have a, then you just have a horrible relationship if you're a pedal to the metal guy. This might not be the right take, but what I think really happens a lot of times, kids force you to be to ease off the gas. Because like you, let's say you and your wife are figuring it out. You're like, oh, we're trying to figure it out. We, you know, we're living here. We'll do date nights Tuesday. We'll see you. You know, like yeah, yeah. you like set those things. Then you have a kid and you literally have no option. Well, you can leave the family. <laughs> Hi, oh. <-o. laughs> but then you're like. All this, what I've heard from people with kids, they go, all of this stress and all this work and everything I'm going through, it's like, yeah, it's important, but like my family, it, this is, it, it like right. forces you to come in and then, you know, you, you get the work stuff, but then now you just care about your kid. Yes. But also it's like, you, I think you can go one of two ways. You can go with the, I need to spend more time with my family because now I have a family or you have the, or I need to work harder because I need to provide for my family. Yeah. And then the work harder to but, provide for your family, then you end up in Vermont balls deep in a girl you just met at the fucking Marriott <laughs> bar. A, yes and no, but but both those scenarios, you said both ended with family. So you're working, to, you, you, it's all family. It is family, day. but you're working, but what I'm saying is that determination uh, to get your career, quote unquote, bigger to provide for your family, I feel like that is a decision that will inevitably ruin the family because you're not there. Oh, right, right, right. Do you know right. what I mean? Then your, kid, yeah. then your kid resents you and has to do fucking morphine yeah. at a Wawa because you never went Those to a soccer bad. games. Yeah, I remember like watching movies growing up where it'd be like the dad would be like the rich guy and he'd be like, oh, yeah. uh, you know, Trenton won't be here tonight. The maid would always have the breaking yeah. news to the kid. Uh, Papa will not be here. He's an Aspen. Banging hookers. But yeah. like the kid, like that's a letdown. And I think if you're a much, uh, if you're human <laughs> deep down, you'll start to feel that. Of course. But I do think that that kind of fucks with the kid's head too. It, it, dude, it, why do you think every fucking rock star's son is like 14 doing ketamine and he just changes his name to like table knocker? I, <laughs> I have two words for you Chet Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just filmed with him. He's a great guy. No, he, no, I, I, listen, I'm, I am, I am positive he's a great guy. Um, and I'm positive there's a lot of like famous people's kids that are adjusted. I mean, we, we know a lot that are like very adjusted and very, very nice. But, Regardless if you're, you have a famous father, famous mom, or a CEO mom or what dad. What does you have to do about famous? Just like if there's not that parental right. person in your If you're life. out there making bags to support the family, it's like that you, you're, you're missed. You, right. you, need, I think you need a complete family. There's a happy middle ground where you have to look at yourself and be like, okay, I'm doing all right. I can ease off the gas a little bit. Uh, yes, but that I feel like that's so hard to do it's hard to do of course easier said than done yeah i mean i remember it, dating for a while and it'd be like you know you want to take a week off to go somewhere and i'm like that sounds great and then that week would be approaching and the whole time yep. beforehand i'll be trying to cram so much work that i could have work be uh distributed while i'm already gone and then i'm day three of vacation i'm itching i'm like i don't give a fuck about souffles i don't give a let shit. me make a goddamn tiktok yeah look at the infinity pool i don't give a shit bitch <laughs> fuck <laughs> but uh yeah, I don't know. I don't, dude. The thing is, how many times do we have these full conversations? We go, I don't know, because there is no answer. It's all very situational. Yeah. It's all very, very, very situational. Speaking of somebody who has a bunch of kids, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. I <laughs> mean, have you, did you see this? <laughs> no. What? What is it? It's a show, and I read the I read the headlines. So I don't know what the hell's happening, but it's a show where they're pitching, or it's approved, um, that women fight. Now, I don't think physically fight. Like it's like a reality show to win Nick Cannon's seed. So Nick Cannon fathers their kid. That seed has the value of an autograph from fucking Joe Exotic. They're out there, dude. There's so many. Like what? I feel like it's not hard to get 
Nick Cannon seat. I feel like you could probably get it on like DoorDash. You could. <laughs> I mean, Nick Cannon has how many kids, uh, Gabriel? Let's find out. I love how he does this, like has a show to get his nut, but also is just still like a wildly popular TV and radio host. Like, what's up, guys? This is Nick Cannon. It's like, oh yeah, you're slaying a nut. That's re- it's what it is. Dude, it's, how, can I guess? He has nine kids. I think he's eleven. He's eleven. Eleven kids. Mm-hmm. Nine eleven. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hold up. Um. So it is. Is the show fake or real? So the show's fake. It oh ended, it, fuck! It ended up being a thing where there he's promoting some prank celebrity prank show he's doing. But the idea is oh. still so funny that like, uh, if I was a woman and I was working at like T-Mobile, I'd fight for fucking Nick Cannon, Simon. Eighteen years of goddamn money. Yeah, but here's I'm the in. thing: that money is now being split among twelve. You know. How well, much no, money? It, what's Nick Cannon? Well, isn't it an individual basis? It's individual. It's not. I don't think it's. Yeah, like, but I'm saying like, like there's not. Like not. He just throws a mill out every month, and he's like, "Divvy it, hoes." True, but I do think that <laughs> there. It sounds has, like Nick Cannon. It doesn't that have to do with how much money you have. So if you have, you know, eleven kids that you're supporting or twelve, you're going to be paying essentially less for each of those than if you only had oh, five. Oh, because the core would be like oh, because he's he has less paying. money. Yeah. Um. But can you can you look up? Uh, I'm sorry to make you do all this, Gabriel. Can you look up? Um. What is the amount? So say you say you make a million dollars a year. What is, and I, I guess every situation is different. But what's like the average state, amount, right? You're in California, oh, I was okay. gonna say. But how much you have to pay in uh, child support or alimony or both? Alimony's fucked too. So it looks like at least in California, it is uh, tw- a flat twenty five percent. Oh my fuck! God damn! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Twenty five percent for just child support? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. No. Flat 25%. What's um, alimony? How much is alimony? Dude, 25%? Yeah, I, I, I think it's about half. It, after everything's combined, it's about half. That's no. what I've always heard. Hold I, on, hold uh, on. About 40%. Is alimony? F- 40% of net monthly income. Yeah. And that's how much you're making at the time. Yeah. So let's say you're fucking having a booming ass year. Mm-hmm. They're going to fucking clock mark that. I don't know if that's a word. It's not. I don't think it it's is. Not. There's no way a clock marks the word. <laughs> it sounds like it though, right? Sort of. You're talking about earmark. Timestamp. Timestamp. That's what you meant. Timestamp. None of this works. Clock but... mark and timestamp. Same. Yeah. No. It, it does. Clock mark. Let's say you boom. You, let's say you're booming in 2021. Yeah. Timestamp that. Clock mark. Say it again. Clock mark. There that. <laughs> I'm a fucking dude. I need my own dictionary. It'd be four words in there. Clock mark. Page three. Why we start page three? <laughs> <laughs> the first two are the, the autobiographies. Two. It's not even the right one. Bibliography? Biblioteca? Bi- <laughs> That's, a, That's library a library in Spanish. In Spanish. But are all th- libraries in Spanish all Spanish? Get out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Game subs. Are libraries really? Libraries anymore? are just a hard drive in person. Whoa. Whoa. Libraries are where, where homeless guys go to jerk off. Did I ever tell so you So much the time? porn in a library. It's too much. Did Something I about you? the book staleness you want to jerk off. Go I ahead. Did I ever fuck tell you the time? Librarian. Did I ever tell you the time that I was in the West Highwood library taking a big old POP and then there was a guy jerking off right next to the stall, like at me. You ever feel like you walk into a restroom and and when the stall door is closed, you immediately know whoever is in there has been in there for like 47 minutes plus? Yep. Like you just feel the comfortability. Mm -hmm. They got their phone on blast volume. Playing anything with volume in a bathroom is insane. Yeah, they've been there. Watching the Rugrats while taking a shit? Government. Dude, them motherfuckers ordered appetizers in there. (laughs) They've been there for a while. But like... Calamari on the ground? (laughs) (laughs) If you're in there, let's yeah. say you're in there to go to the bathroom. Somebody else walks in. Are you, are you just proceeding with business or do you go like total like mute stealth mode? Or am I taking a shit or am yeah. I peeing? St- shit. You're in a stall. I, honestly, I wish I wasn't this person because I like yell about fucking honesty and blah, blah, blah. But when I'm in there, I, I, my immediate instinct is I'm embarrassed to make a sound. I will, Same. I'll do flushes while I'm taking a shit, especially when I know it's like not a, it's, especially when I know it's not like a clean shit, like it's going to be a nightmare. Just like, oh, no, I get that. but, but let's then say, I'm but let's flushing. say you're just, all right, shit's already out. You're on your phone. You're scrolling. Yep. And then there's somebody that walks in. Are you proceeding to like wipe or are you just going stealth and like, kind of like going mannequin challenge? Um, I don't move. I if, don't I'm, if I'm taking a poop, if I'm in the middle of a poop and someone walks in, I go like mannequin challenge. But if it's already out, ah. I'm fine. Yeah. You ever you ever been shitting in a public place and you take out AirPods because you know it's gonna be you're gonna be in there for a while? No. Dude, I have watched Netflix documentaries while shitting in like a public space. I took a poop on a goddamn airplane. Actually, the last airplane I was in. Same way you, you touch yourself in? No. Different. You ever got a blumpkin? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a logical A to B. Yeah. God damn. Hello, what's up? It's me, fresh. Let me in. 
You can come in. I would love to come in because I'm HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Talk number about one. a seamless transit. What? No, it's just number one. I was just repeating it because it's number one. Okay, you're doing ad libs. Yep. I thought you were correcting me. But, are we a married couple? But yes. But, At this but, point. But, dude, well, if we are a married couple, you know what's a fun activity? What? Meal prepping. Not Wait. even meal prepping. Cooking a fun meal. It's easy, fun, and affordable. Ladies and gents, okay, make mealtime easy with delicious recipes made with fresh wholesale ingredients delivered to your door. No lines, no hassles. Get great tasting meals you can whip up and enjoy in the comfort of your own home. No one wants to go to the grocery store. Zero people want to go to the grocery store. Zero. You want to fight a pigeon? You want to you want to wrestle someone no. for some Doritos? Find parking? Oh, I'm going to try to do this parking lot. Yeah, that's an, that's an escape maze. Stupid. Escape Stupid. Room? With HelloFresh, you're getting seasonal ingredients picked at peak ripeness for quality and that you can taste. Every time okay? they've ever sent me an avocado, it's been perfect. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it either. But it's in the name. Hello Fresh. What AKA up? Fresh. Ingredients travel from farms to your home in less than seven days. Okay? Look, Michael and I do this together when we're lonely. We make Hello Fresh meals and we have enough for him and for me and the Lord in between us. Yep. And that's all I have to <laughs> say about that. Every, everything. <laughs> okay. Well, hold on, Trev. Where do I go? How do I get it? You go to HelloFresh.com slash Sock60. Six zero and use code SOCK60 for 60% off plus wow. free shipping. Are we, Gabe, are, can we check that this is the cor correct That's insane. Because that's 60% insane. off, dog, and it's free right? shipping. This is right. Wow. 60% off plus free shipping? What the fuck are you doing going to Whole Foods for? Idiot. Whole Maybe Foods. you found a wife? Yeah, paying whole prices. True. All right. HelloFresh.com slash SOCK60 and use code SOCK60 for 60% off. Wow. Plus free shipping. Okay? God damn. Have you ever? That to me is crazy. Yeah. That is insane. I mean, I would do it if she was into it, but that's, uh, no. I, the answer is no, and I'm not super into it, but if she was like, you know what fucking gets, if a girl tells me anything that like makes her super whatever, I'd do it. What if it's Give it to me. listening to her while you're editing? If it gets you know, her it really wet. really turns me on if you listen while you edit. Put the little MacBook down. and If you say that. anything little MacBook, we're out. Oh my god! I you was just demeaning what I'm doing for a living. I was I got lunch with one of my like best friends recently, and uh, he goes, "You uh, you saw that little uh, little you off that little tour yet?" No. Cool. Guess who's paying for lunch? Bye. Me. You paid for it. Bags. No. I don't go fuck. But Ow. I was like, "You say Lil?" And he's like, "Oh no, man! I just didn't know how to whatever." It was just funny. <laughs> let it's me a little anything is funny. Little. Let me ask you this. Speaking about paying for dinner, so this situation happened to me. In Ooh. yeah, so this is it gets a little convoluted, but I need to give you all the information. So I went to I was in Orlando, and I went to dinner, sorry lunch with my brother, his girlfriend, my mom's best friend, and my mom's best friend's husband. Do we got it? Yeah, your mom was in there. My mom was not there. No, weird group. Um, she's like a she. My mom's best friend has been a family friend since okay, I okay, can okay. remember. Okay, it's like essentially my aunt, sort yeah, of, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're all there. <clears throat> and people are ordering, not insane, insane, people are like ordering alcohol and stuff. And it's like, you know, it's a fucking, and I'm, so what is that? Four or five, it's five people. A lot yeah, of people. Yeah, yeah. So the bill comes and the, my mom's best friend's husband, gra and I'm paraphrasing here, grabs the bill and goes and looks at us. My brother and I are trying to take out our cards. And he looks at us, he goes, so uh, would you guys mind getting this since I got the last dinner? And immediately I was like, oh yeah, it's fine. What? Like, of course, like, well, we we're trying to get it anyways. So we get it. And my brother and I split the bill and then I'm leaving. I start doing math in my head. I'm like, you didn't, he didn't pay for a dinner that I was at. Do you what, know what I mean? What, what dinner was he talking about? He was, they, they all had dinner minus me the night before, before they came to one of my shows. Mm -hmm. So he was propositioning this like do y'all mind getting this based on the fact that he paid for a dinner i wasn't at also i'm by myself i don't got a girlfriend or a wife so i'm paying for my brother's girlfriend's first of all she and ordered none of them topping she, you off zero come on um i don't know even what that meant uh <laughs> but people got mimosas not me people got steak tips dude that's not me i eating with a whole group is always a thing. I, I used to hate that when we'd go to lunch at uh, All Deaf Digital. It's like I would always order. It would, whenever I order the most generic thing, it always be like company card. But yep. then whenever I'd be like, oh, this feels like a company card event. I'd be like, fuck it. Let me get the short ribs.
Yep. Hey, bottomless and topless mimosas. Topless mimosas. You got to get bottom mimosas from a girl that is topless. Dude, how do they how do they not have a strip club thing where it's called like bottomless and topless? She brings out bottomless, but she's topless. There's coffee shops where the tits are out. Yes. Yes. What is it called? Uh, whorehouses. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Seattle has them, but also the bikini barista. But there's also ones like in Los Angeles. I think that where the wh- whatever. It's so weird to be hard and also drinking caffeine. Bottoms up espresso. I don't like when then, you know what? I'm out. I don't, <laughs> I don't, like I don't want to see tits at eight like in the morning. Don't. I don't want to think about sex at eight in the morning. Get out of here. This is my time to meditate, yeah, put some essential but, oils on, and start my work day. Yeah, I don't want to start with an empty cock. But, but but then your day's already a dub. It's already a win. I know, but it's You're already, already done. You're sitting in traffic, but you already saw tits. No. Somebody honks you. Great. See, I saw the, some racks this morning. I'm the opposite. I feel like I need. I want to work up to the fact of of seeing tits or or, or fucking. I don't want to wake up, get topped off. My day's over. I'm trying to go back to sleep. It's Tuesday. Now it's Wednesday. Work your way through this. Monday morning, bottoms up espresso in LA. 8 a.m. You wake up. You want to go get a coffee? Oh, it's schoolgirl day. The barista's dressed up in a little schoolgirl outfit. No. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm being serious. Come I want you to look on. like a fucking construction worker. I don't want anything. I don't want- What about like Thursday? What If if we're talking about 6, 7 p.m., okay. 8 a.m. tits? You ever wake up and just watch porn? You want to fucking blow your brains out. It's insane. It's insane. <laughs> have you ever woke up and just like, f- just open immediately porn? No, never. You have? I knew it. <laughs> you I have? fucking knew you it. Open up and watch porn? You said yeah, what? Morning wood, you gotta get it out. Yeah, but that's just pee. What? All right, pause. <laughs> tell me. All right, let's pause right here. What did you just say? <laughs> Morning wood is just pee. You're not hard just to be hard. You got to pee. <laughs> All right. The Dog, fact that everybody's laughing. What? Like feel good. what? Did you go to school? <laughs> yeah, hard. No, when Do you, you wake think up. You're trying to tell me right now that Morning wood to you in your head is pee? It is. What's because- pee in this situation? What? What's P in this? Urine. No, I understand. But like what? what so you're saying the P makes you hard? Yeah, your battery's full. You got to release it. You're The reason you're bricked up is because you're fucking, you got to pee. Because after you pee, you're not hard anymore. Do you ask people questions at all? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm right. I was born in this world, right? This is wild. It's not pee, dude. You're hard because your testosterone during the night's a little up. So you get fucking hard. It's, it's tees test- up at night? Yeah. Huh. But it is. I think you're just because sometimes you got you wake up and you got to pee in the morning. I think you're just connecting. Them. Yeah, you're conflating the the two. But to Treb's point, waking up with morning wood, but having to pee, I cannot imagine jerking off. That sounds crazy. Oh, that's yeah, crazy. You bypass peeing. Yeah, yeah, and then um, it goes down again, and then I can go pee. That's crazy. And it, it feels good see? again because you know that that, that after <laughs> the pee, pee the after, after not pee. pee. Goes hard, right? After nut pee is an insane sentence. Go to an asylum. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Wait, so, so. Dude, I had, more, I had more than one recently and I had recently. to pee in my shower because it wasn't, I couldn't <laughs> angle it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I just, because I just, op- I was like, I can't do this. I just opened the door and just peed in the fucking shower. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a pee. good idea. That's a sink pee. A what? Uh, see. You peed in the sink? Yeah. I love when I people are just saying before. this stuff like it's very normal. You peed in the, I know you've peed in the sink. You do everything in the sink. Oh, my you probably sink. got Bob Mitzvah in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're telling me you woke up rubbing your eyes and just immediately porn? Yeah. That's that's crazy. crazy. Dude. That's crazy. That's, like, do you, do you, that's a reverse day. Yeah. What do you do? Go to work at 9 p.m. after that? No, then I'm, I'm pumped up. I'm deep pumped. Yeah, I'm deep pumped. I'm like a flat basketball. Oh, you ever yeah. try to play basketball I'm with a flat basketball? smoking an orange peel. Like, my day's done. Yeah. Flat basketball's funny. No, you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel like. You it's not, over. You let it get it anywhere because you're about to jump in the shower. Well, that's normal for me. Pee in the shower. Get that post-nut pee. You Everyone will... knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, but, but also it's like 8 a.m. You're trying to plan your day in the background of your head. You just hear, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I've stumbled across some stuff. Like I get on Twitter, Twitter. that fucks me up. I get yeah. on Twitter and then one girl's like, well, first of all, I love uh, OnlyFans women tweets are so funny. How come no one likes tits anymore? I'd like to show them to you. To who? To who? I, Bethany. I, the Reddit, and then you got to go right on the media. The Reddit ones are hilarious, but I get it. It's like clickbait for these fucking dudes who are just fucking horned up, simped out. And because they just see it and it's like, hope I can just leave my tits here. I know nobody's going to see these, but. 
hopefully somebody does. And he goes like, I'll see him. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I, you, the, it's the, clickbait. It's, I, dude, I love him. Yeah, but like, what's better, oh, that or like, I haven't been on jerk a date. off on my tits? I haven't been on a date in a while. I wish someone would take me on a date. You live in Iowa. There's what bad you, bitches in Iowa. So many. Waterloo? <laughs> why, do you think, why do you think it's called Waterloo? <laughs> um, but, but it's, yeah, it's all clickbait. If you were an OnlyFans guy, what would your tweet be? Promoting my Promoting OnlyFans? your genitals, yeah. What would I say? Had to buy a tarp for this load. It's pretty good. It's really, it's really good. And it would be me at a Home Depot with a two by four of my cock. Long ways, not sideways. A two by four of your cock. Please explain. Piece of wood. Yep. Over my dick. Oh, over your dick. Got it. And then I have a tarp over my shoulder. Also, why were hitchhikers back in the day always a stick with a bandana? Get more storage. <laughs> <laughs> what was in there? Like your cat? <laughs> One sack of oatmeal. Yeah, uh, I mean, motherfuckers fuck with porridge back in the day. Also, you I had, had the oatmeal for breakfast. Uh, what did you have? I had oatmeal for breakfast. Oatmeal for breakfast is so good. I'm not hating it's on great. it at all. It's fucking phenomenal. I will say, though, I love when people used to hitchhike back in the day, and, like, boomers are convinced that, like, hitchhiking was fine back in the day. Nothing happened. Y'all got murdered, but there was no Twitter. Motherfuckers got murdered. Okay, I see what you're saying. And everyone's like, oh, don't do it now. You shouldn't done it in 1961. I think My dad would hitchhike all the time. He hitchhiked out of the family. <laughs> Dude, you Which one? Can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine your life being so bad that you leave a family and have to hitchhike away? Well, do you ever think there's a post family leave regret? There's yes. gotta be. Of course. A weekend, you're like, can we just go back? What do you say? I was at SeaWorld. You know, you, you go back, I'm just joking. But you go back, then another dude's already in the picture. Dog. Is any part about life fun, enjoyable? Uh, Right when you're coming, kind of fun. When you're crushing our stage, is kind of fun. Yeah. This is fun. Smoking cigars with you, you know, guys is fun. And that's it. God damn. Let me tell you a freaking secret, okay? Please do. Be smart. Don't start. Kick the habit. Put it out before it puts you out. All phrases we've heard a hundred times, yet we still continue to have bad habits, dude. Our sponsor, Fume is on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us, okay? Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and a behavioral science to help you trade out your negative habit for a positive one. And it's not a vape. No. It's a non-electronic device that is designed to transform your negative habits. So instead of pods filled with potentially harmful chemicals, you know, like, like a vape. Like a vape. Okay, throw in fire right now. Fume uses cores infused with plants like peppermint and cinnamon for delicious natural flavors. And their model too, is, dude, it's snappy, tactile, quick, looks sick, feels right. It does feel right. Yeah, well, you know, Gabe's got a pretty negative habit. But you know what you've been doing lately is using your fume. Yeah. And, and the I'm fume, a fan of that. The fume, it feels so satisfying in the hand. It's got like a nice little weight at the top of yeah. it. Yeah, and it's fume just, the mighty, the proud. Yeah, I'm um, so big fan of it. And it's got like a, the the top of it, little click click action, little click, magnetic click, thing. Magnetic, and you can filter how much air you want to come in and out. That's great. And it's like peppermint, dude, fr freaking yeah. fresh breath. It's the easiest way to stop a bad habit. It's you know by switching to a positive one. And fume is designed just for that. It's fume's goal to make switching easy and even enjoyable. They have thousands of five star reviews from people just like you who've successfully switched when other solutions just didn't work. Head to tryfume.com and use code SOCKS to save 10% off when you get the Journey Pack today. The Journey Pack comes with three unique flavors and the new version 2 Fume to help kickstart your positive habits. That's tryfume.com and use code SOCKS to save an additional 10% off your order today. God damn. I watched an interview recently where Drake was talking about he has a therapist. Imagine being Drake's therapist. How do you relate? You can't. Yeah, man. 10,000 women just always trying to fuck. Must be crazy, man. Yeah, you tried meditating? But it's I weird. mean, there's, there's, there's the core values that you can always get yeah. back to. Remember how you feel and this and that. Obviously, there's a therapist who's very good and can help him. But it is like, imagine like one client is Drake and the next one is just like me. I'm like, the TikTok gallery is down. And then Drake's like, I have $4 billion and I just put an owl on everything I own. What do I do now? Who, who, where are the hoots? Here's what I would say, though. Yeah. It is hilarious that like your problems are your problems. I'll explain. Like. If you that if you have so many women that want to have sex with you, like that is a problem. Like it sounds, it sounds like well, a great problem, but it is a problem. 
I agree. You don't, you don't know who to trust, you know, but, like all that kind of but stuff. But what it is, is what you just said. It's trust. It's like, how do you find trust? It's Correct. like the problem, the, the headline is crazy, but the core of it is trust. But he talks about it in the, it's a therapy, it's a interview with Lil Yachty on, on a beach. I, I saw some clips. It was pretty, pretty entertaining. But Drake talks about his therapist. What did they say? It's in the video. He goes, you're a guy with the biggest tits of the party. Meaning every time he walks in, people yeah. are like, yo, what are those bazoongas? Yeah. Also, <laughs> this therapist, for sure, is Sigma Chi. Like, this is just a frat guy who just graduated. He's like, Drake, you have the biggest tits in the party. So when you walk in, and let's just say this party is a big tit party. Oh, hold on. His therapist said that? Therapist said that. It's like, be fire him immediately. Well, yes and no. I understand but the concept. But maybe he's trying to compare it to words that Drake's going to know best. If he's like, you're the attention, you're the star. People, he's like, yeah, I get that. But he's like, yo, you got big tits. And he's like, yo, I do got big tits. Yo, I do love big tits. Because think about it. I remember when we were all in eighth grade, uh, this girl Jamie walked in. She was racked up. Everybody eye on her. She was the first girl in school with a rack. And we were like, how the fuck? Dog, I'm telling you, you right now. you get those on Amazon? I uh, so that's what he's equating it to. It's like yeah. everybody's looking at you because you're the big tit career. But what were you saying? I was going to say this, and this we're going to get in dicey area, but just hear you me are. out. You are. Hilarious. <laughs> 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 just a single camera. Um, it has got to be such a mind fuck, and I feel like I've said this before, but it's got to be such a mind fuck for a, a lady to go from just being like a kid to crossing the threshold to being like a... Uh, like have like sex appeal. It's got to be such a mind fuck to be like, oh, you're just, it's, it's the same thing with Bazunga eighth grade lady. It's like you go from seventh grade, everyone's like, hey, hitting you in your arm and playing dodgeball and yeah. you come in the classroom with Bazungas and you go, now I have attention because I got Bazungas? It's got to be such a weird yeah, fucking- Yeah, the female, the, he, <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ, take 78. The human species, <laughs> it's, just, it's just, it's very caveman. It's like, it's literally like, when, uh, you know, you're making a fuck ton of videos, nothing happens. All of a sudden they start popping. Everyone's like, dude, you're fucking, and you're like, I've always been this guy, but now you get the attention. It's the way yeah. the human brain works. If you're just showing up to class and you've been the same person for years, everyone's like, oh yeah, that's just uh, Miranda. And then you show up racked out one day. It was like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's just, am I comparing tits to a viral video? Yes. It's, it's but it's, not, it's, it gets it's the attention. The, it's the same I'm thing. Drake's therapist. It's the same. Yeah, you are. It's the same thing. If a dude has money, then a dude has pussy. Like a dude has a pussy. Not always. Sir. <laughs> always. 100% of the time. If okay. you're a nightmare of a human, then no. But like right. a, a dude who like works at fucking Google, who's never got vagina his entire life, all of a sudden he's making 500K a year, he drives a fucking Ferrari, his life is going to change. Yeah, those fucking stage YouTube videos that are like gold digger pranks, those came from somewhere. Yeah. It's partially real. All yeah. those are staged on YouTube. There's still a guy doing like part 79, I remember. But uh, yeah, I but, see what you're saying. But and, I don't, and I don't hate on either side because if I understand, I understand so completely from both angles. The whole gold digger thing, I get it. I, I, I get it. And I would do the same thing. It's if success. I had a set of, it's if like, I had it's a like set this man's great, doing something right. What's going on here? Security, dude. You're out in the goddamn wilderness with dudes that uh, sleep on a waterbed with one fucking pillow from seventh grade. That eats macaroni and cheese. I will say that pillow is probably comfortable as fuck. It may be. Or it's just full of cum. Yeah. For the bull. Come on now. Um, uh oh. But you know what I mean? So you're in you're in the wilderness fucking do <laughs> you want to hit this so bad. <laughs> fucking guys that like eat soup on Tuesdays into yeah. a guy who has like a nice place well, and success is hot on both sides, you know? It is. Like I I don't even know. There's just there's just some of those girls that just have that like I'm a that like bad bitch, like I'm my own, like I'm like I love that shit. Like it's I'm an entrepreneur lady. The, 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 get in my it's life. It's like get in or get out, right? And, yeah. and we know Ooh. multiple people like that who are just like, this is who I am, either you're on board or you're not. And you're like, I I want you're like, how do I, why do I Yeah. Cause you it want is, to you want to be seen by them. Maybe. Yeah, it's also like Maybe I wanna, I'm not Drake's therapist. I I wanna I think I want the mutual respect. That's what I like. And if you're if you're a hustler and you're building a business and all that kind of stuff, like there, there's a lot of I, I put that in your Raya profile. If you're a hustler and you're trying to build a business, swipe right. I mean, what, I do you swipe on Raya? I've been on Raya for like ten months. No, not accepted. What do we do? I don't know. How I think you just you DM Raya. Yeah. I don't think you can. Oh. You can keep adding more recommendations. That's funny. But it's like funny because like everybody I've talked to about it, like, oh yeah, I got it in like a week. Yeah, Why? It took, it took me like a month. I don't know. The fuck they doing over there? 
I don't know. I will say it's not like it's not like a. a I've, what I'm saying is there are some dudes on Raya that should not be on Raya. So many people. Yeah. So many people on Raya that shouldn't be on Raya. I will say though, on Raya, the women, dog, they're all they're all like eight to ten. In years scale. old <laughs> no there it's it's really it's really wild do you so do you do you match with people and like kind of have any conversations yeah. or is it just yeah. like you met my ex on raya wow yeah that is true in my head it's all just so like some I don't, it's are. like seeing somebody at a party some are some yeah. are like and it it is a lot of game playing because they're like, I'm a hot girl and I have value and da 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 and the dude's the same way so there's a lot of it feels like a lot more game playing but also the same amount of game playing is the same amount of like, are we good? Are we going to do this? What's happening? Right. Right. Exactly. But I do think it is to your point of saying it's like, it's two people here. It's like, if you're on Riot, it's already a pretentious place yes. already. Yes. So both sides can probably be like, I'm not going to stoop to the level to say, Correct. hey, first, like, Correct. I'm up here. You need to appease me type of thing. Correct. It, it, it's a weird pedestal to start on. But you do find people like X yeah. yeah. who are like, oh, I'm just on here to be on. Here. I'm just on here to be you on. Know, I'm yeah. not. You know, I think I think if you're like a hyper motivated type of female with like, you know, with goals and value and all that kind of stuff, I think that you don't really want to be on like Tinder or like, I mean, Bumble's fine. But I think Raya is like it, it has this sort of expectation where like it's like working out at Equinox. It's correct. There's nobody jerking off in, you know, the sauna. Lie. Lie. So much. Comment. But if there's a guy jerking. No, I'm saying like Equinox is you pay the premium so yes. you're like surrounded by like maybe like like-minded yes yes, 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 yes you're like i paid extra yep to not yep. be around the riffraff yes it, it is tinder is, is like fucking out of 24-hour fitness dog temp it's like i mean it is just full of like driftwood of when i beings. see people swiping on tinder in 2023 i just want to go hey, hey hey put the phone down find love in yourself find god Find something. <laughs> yeah. It's just put that Android down. Dude, the old cameraman, <laughs> fucking he'd be a beast on it. I'm like, dude, dude, dude. Yeah. Chill. Yeah. These aren't real. These are robots in Russia. I mean, most of them are just this is just a promo for their OnlyFans. It it does feel very yeah, it I mean, is. Yeah, M most. That, <clears throat> I, most I mean, of people I've literally talked to uh, chicks that have been like, "Oh, yeah, I don't actively go on. Like, I'll like randomly go on Tinder just to make sure my account's active, but I just put my Instagram there with my hottest photos, and then their Instagram slowly gets more followers. But then all the dudes following you are just dudes who want to fuck you. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But but those are people who would buy merch. Can we put those stiff stocks on on Tinder? Get some more followers. Like the actual account, <laughs> yeah. or just us together? They go, oh, it's, it's a joint account. Or, yeah. or, Whoa, can you do joint couple accounts? Yes. Oh, joint. But like, but like, you you're just, swiping right on like Trevor and Michael. <laughs> yeah, we could yeah. definitely do. Do that. they? They, they, they do that? Yes, yeah. there are. Uh, they're not a bunch, but they're that every like, so like often there's like an open relationship. Dude, yeah. there's gotta be. A, is there a Swingers app? Yes, yes, there is. What's my, it called? My XX Pineapple. It's called. We've looked it up. It's called three. Nobody. Pineapple. Pineapple. Upside down. Fine. Fuck everyone. I'm Drake. You went A to Z. Pineapple? pineapple, fine, like you fine. Pineapple, upside down pineapple swingers. All right. <laughs> Ow. Um, what's the swingers app? It's, it's called, dude. I because, dude, uh, uh, um, God damn it, I I used it. It's called fantasy app. No, Thrinder. Yes, yes, yes. Thrinder. Thr 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 what is Thr it? Thrinder. Thrinder. That's it. <clears throat> um. Yeah. We got a couple matches too. We just didn't execute. God damn. Oh, I got chamomile tea. You know what I need with my chamomile tea? What? Honey, dude. This episode nice. is sponsored by Honey, dude. But it's not the liquid honey it's you put not, in tea. It's dude. the liquid money you're saving. Uh-oh, dude. That was it's, good. It's the easiest way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer, okay? But what is it? Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites, okay? When you're at checkout, the Honey button appears, and all you have to do is click <coughs> apply coupons, okay? Wait a few seconds. The Honey searches for coupons. It can find for that site. Dude, if Honey finds a working anything. coupon... You'll watch the prices D R O P the drop. The price is right. Dude, that's like being at a shoe store and being like, hey, do you have these in size 10? Also, can I save some money? And then the guy goes in the back, he goes, honestly, my name is Honey. Here's some money. Yeah. Bars. Just hands you a coupon. All I'm saying, dude, it applies. It doesn't work for you. You don't got to hire an intern. No. Dude, I was, no I, receptionist. Was, I was buying sheets a couple of days ago because my girlfriend left, so I didn't have any sheets. <laughs> okay. And I literally used Honey. I got like 15%. She took the sheets? Yeah, yeah. She took, the, she took <laughs> everything, dude. <laughs> she took everything, dude. I didn't have any bowls. I had no bowls. <laughs> no balls or bowls? Both. 
Anyways. Look, so, so you're buying sheets, a couch, a futon, and a fucking flashlight. And what happened? And I I was buying the sheets and for it saved me literally 15%. That's great. And I, all I was you so do excited. is click a button. That's it. You don't got to Google, uh, I need a promo code for Bed Bath & Beyond. For, first of all, those don't ever work. Do because you know you're I mean? not using Honey. Correct. All right. So Honey doesn't just work on desktops. Okay. It works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be sure that missing out. Dumb. Don't miss out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show. Get PayPal Honey for free. At free. Join so get Honey today. Joinhoney.com slash stiff. That's joinhoney.com slash stiff. God damn. Um, um, you should have a foursome. What oh happened? God, yeah, I need I need to try to rekindle the foursome. Yeah, fuck it, go five some. Can and I, then if you come to Quick News Film, oh my God, <laughs> dude, do you do you understand if I do a foursome, the amount of I'll take two blue chews and I will hose my cock down with numbing spray. Yeah, hose it down. Everybody will gone. It'll still just be air humping. A hundred percent. You guys are gonna be like, how was it? And I'm like, seen, I don't know. You ever seen like a dog just like air humping? What is going through its brain? I don't know. That's why I never will get a dude dog. What's happening? Yeah. Why are you why are you fucking the table? <laughs> Horned up. Horned up. And the goddamn lipstick cock, it's all weird. Oh, I don't know where you're going with that sentence at first. Oh yeah. Yeah. They yeah. hump everything, they pee on stuff. It's weird. <clears throat> That's why dudes are fucking dogs. Anyways, hey, do we bark, solve bark. anything? No. Yeah, we're signing up for a fantasy <clears throat> fantasy app. What do you mean we are? Well, you do. Yeah. What well to... hold on. I'm telling you, if we Pound put down? our both, yeah. we're, people are going to think that we're like on, like we're dating. We could be. Yeah, just put we some like nice, be. some nice merch pictures on there. Yeah. We both have careers we love. I know. We, we should both. move in together. Here's the problem. <clears throat> Here's my problem with all of this. I love the idea, <laughs> but the dick is the problem. <laughs> like that. That's that's where it gets becomes a problem. I think I, I, I think I could like kiss a dude. I got no problem with that. You can tongue down a guy. It's fine. Yeah. Lick his ear. Choke him a bit. But the dick, that's, that's for me, preference-wise, they don't really do anything for me. I wish yeah. they did. I'd love to get plowed down by Brad. Fun. Then we high-five, watch the guy in Super Bowl, play. Yeah, <laughs> dude, you ever, I could have a tennis partner, play golf, yeah. smoke cigars. <laughs> Make the same sounds in the bedroom. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you ever, I just want to smoke a cigar and then have my dude top me off. <laughs> then we go to top. Then we, then we go to top golf. That's why they call it top that. golf. <laughs> Topped off at top golf. Topped off at top golf. <clears throat> Title. God, I wanted to make such a dumb TikTok the other day. It's just out front of top golf, and it just says <clears throat> dude's name golf, and he's just like, <laughs> somebody filming with me tonight. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, anyways. Should we, uh, oh, okay, it go ahead. sounds like you need to date a couple because then you got the, the homie be like, Mark, what's good, dog? All right, I'm gonna hang out with Shelly real quick. Pow, 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 smoke a cigar. Yeah, it sounds fun. Again, it's the same thing. It sounds fun when you're talking about it theoretically, but in practice, it's just like, oh, God, this, there's, there's so many pitfalls to that. It sounds just, like I think a you need to just marry an AI robot. I will. The moment they, they come up with like a hot sex robot that you can't really tell, I'm in. How was your set? It was great. Thank you so much. I made you chicken quesadilla. Ha, 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 ha. Great. <laughs> this is fucked. But you know how on Uber you can do like preference, like talking, no talking? Yeah, I know which one I'm going to choose. <laughs> hey, babe, what's up? That's, that's what she says? That would get so annoying. What? Like, a, like you, have you seen... And the answer most likely is yeah. Have you seen her like a relationship where like the the woman in the relationship is like um what's the, what's the word like very uh whatever you want type of like person like personality. What do you mean? Like uh, it's it's submissive, but just like very like acquiesce to like any uh need that the person that the guy has or whatever. I've seen a relationship like that, and it, it in in some weird More the world guy has like some like god complex type thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like, you're uh, like yeah, that seems so sad. That's, oh, of course. Well, it's like. I want I want my well, wife to not have an opinion. No, because then your brain you're like mm. I'm always right this and that, and then you like go into the real world, and a Starbucks worker like fucks up your name, or you're like I ordered my coffee ten minutes ago. She's like I don't care. You're like that's not in the script. Yeah, I, it's unreal. But that's why so many uh, like celebrities have such inflated realities because they're always on set. They're in a trailer. There's somebody feeding grapes. Uh, Leo, your oh, is ready, and then they get topped off, and then it, it, and then the second you leave set, 
and somebody doesn't uh, treat you how they do there or they don't, they don't know who you are or this or that. It's, yeah. I mean, like, it's fucked up. It's so Because up. you are used to a certain way. Yeah, usually getting topped off at Top Golf. There's a theme here. What do you think, so? I'm going to buy a gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, should we do some sock talk? I think we should. I think it's time for a sock talk. I am down. Um, if you're Drake's therapist, write in. Yeah. That would be such a fun episode. Like, a ma- like it's so funny, though. Somebody's at, like, five, and Drake's at six, and uh, the five o'clock, the therapist, like, got to wrap up. I got another client. No, the client's just Drake. Yeah, but I think if you're Drake's therapist, you're also probably doing two chains first and then fucking Drake. What, dude, and then, he like, probably blue doesn't face need, baby. It's probably just an in-house therapist. Probably just lives there. It's probably his dad. No, his dad is cooked. Uh-huh. His dad is in a different realm. <laughs> his dad has no idea what's happening. Do you ever see videos of that man? He's yes. he, he's he's like the Monty Lopez of rap. Him and Ja Morant's father should hang the fuck out. What's his dad been doing? I, they're just they're the same person. Yeah, I mean Drake's dad. Like I remember Drake was like playing a song on Instagram Live one day, and he's like, "Dad, you remember this this song?" He goes, "Oh, I haven't heard this one," and it was like a massive song. <laughs> I get it, dude. Fucking the job that's funny to me is there's like a lot of like if you're like a rock star that has a drug problem, there's like a sober coach that's like, all right, I'm the sober guy that's just gonna go on tour with you and try to get you not to drink. That shit's really funny. Really? Mm-hmm. I I mean I, but, I completely but, understand. But that that's job, a risk though. management yeah. job. That's a very beneficial job. It yeah. might not seem hard, but like if that person's not there, they're relapsing at Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah, for sure. And Great place not, to do it. They're not doing the concert in front of sixty thousand people. Right. Everyone's mm-hmm. losing crazy money. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. I'd look at my tour manager and I'd be like, oh, I could make this shit worse. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, I could, yeah. like, we're, we're 30 mm-hmm. cities in, everything's going great. Where's Trev? I don't know. There was just the lid of a Patron bottle next to his door. <laughs> Calling you a bunch, your just phone's in the toilet. But that's what I'm saying. Literally in the toilet. I'm, you're like just I, the worst off thing tipping is, cows by yourself. Dude, tipping cows? <laughs> <laughs> I'm topping cows. <laughs> Dude, if we were on tour together and I couldn't find you. We used you, to be. And I know. You left my side. It was so, <laughs> it was so fun. Well, here's the thing. We're going to do a Stiff Socks tour. And I don't, every time people ask me about it, I've just been like, yeah, dude, end of 2023. So me I don't too, know what, I've been saying the same thing. I don't know what your schedule looks like, but we're doing it. We're doing it. Cool. Be fun. But yeah, we'll get a tour manager. And yeah, we'll I, just make the life very easy. But then one show, we'll just like. Yeah. Just disappear. One show we disappear, we take shrooms, we both become iguanas. And then like physically got, or mentally? Mentally. Okay. I don't know if we could physically turn iguanas could, freeze in Florida. And then they fall and kill people. Dude, that's insane. Can you imagine I lost my dad? Dude, Can but, you imagine the obituary? <laughs> what do you say? Honestly, I'd make fun of my dad the whole time. If you got killed by dude, an iguana. Dude, imagine being that iguana, because they defrost and then come back to life. Imagine your homie, you defrost. Like, dude, what happened? I was blacked out last winter. You killed somebody. Killed multiple people. <laughs> what? By a bus stop. You killed a family of four. How fat are you, Albert? <laughs> yep, there you go. Um, Drug right. therapist. Shall we uh, jump a little funk? In? Yeah, a little bit of sock talk. We have a Do submission it. here from Zach, and he says, uh, unbeknownst to me, the <clears> girl <throat> uh, that I was hooking up with... Um, was missing her two front teeth and she wore a retainer that had two fake teeth in it. So she quite literally took some of her teeth out to give me dome. I wanted to ask the boys if this would be an immediate turnoff or if you would look past it. I am questioning because wouldn't that kind of push more into the the D? It seems like it would be sharp there. Right, like not not fangs, but like it feels like that there'd be like a little scraper. Yeah. Well, that's why she took it off. No, reverse. When she takes it out, now there's just two, you know, Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think either or. Are you pretend sucking off right now? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how it works. <clears throat> um, have you ever got topped off with someone who break? <laughs> yes. Did it feel different? No, nah, it feels the same. That's Unless they had the rubber bands in, then it feels <laughs> good. I don't see how it would, because it's all mouth with tongue support. I know, but- Where does but, the front we're, brace- but we're, but we're talking about in high school when like the the like- the skill level's not sensei level. Do you know what I mean? Like we're talking about like the second or third top off. So if you have braces, gotcha. most dudes are like, oh my God, you're going to cut my dick. Oh, okay. Just on. Just on skill level alone. Yeah, and you yeah, have yeah. literally, you, I mean, you're walking like around. a challenging level, yeah. Correct. You're walking yeah. around with fucking knives in the front of your mouth. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Which it's definitely happened before. Like people have had to go to the hospital because right. Like some, I feel like I've heard that in like stand up material or like somewhere. Like somebody's like, and she had braces, and the crowd's like, wow. And I'm like, you're like 41. Why do you know about that? <laughs> <laughs> Adult braces are funny. It's hilarious. Yeah, I can say as a as a guy that was missing my front tooth for a lot of years uh, and has gone down on a woman with a missing front tooth. That shit's kind of cool. Kinda oh put, yeah. Put the clit in between your your in your tooth hole. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> Like it's boba, uh, yeah. Like it's boba. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I, Did you I do also, that? So you took the tooth out? Yeah. What's funny? Why? Is, I left for, the tooth in when I was I giving mean, it. Ninety nine percent of the time, I'm leaving the tooth in. But sometimes for fun, I think reverse is hotter. Because <laughs> like, if a girl sees a guy about to go down on her, and you got a tooth out, how you get that tooth out? Probably in box. It just feels like manly. It feels rugged. Yeah. Sponsored by Carhartt. Yeah, but if a lady takes her teeth out, you know what I mean? It's like, what UFC ring have you been in? Or okay. she got them dentures. Yeah, take out all of them? Guys, I like, hear where you're at. But if you're on a date with a girl at fucking Applebee's, don't question why I'm at Applebee's. I'm just there. <laughs> That's my first question. I'm just there. It's her favorite spot. It was her birthday, so we went there. And then first time goes down to me, she takes all her teeth out. Doug, huh? Do you play ice hockey? It's the only excuse. Right. Well, look, I think you'd take it out right. It would be like... It would be surprising. It's the grand finale. You, you want to see a magic trick? You wouldn't be you're already hooking. No, you're already hooking up. You wouldn't be into it. I would feel it. I'd feel what it through. Mean? You we're, would force no, it through? No, we're hooking up. Okay. Right? And then right at the end, she's about to top me off. Okay. Probably like 2 p.m. Right? Why is it 2 p.m.? I don't know. But then, she right, she's going down. She goes, I got a little grand finale for you. Sure. All her teeth? All of them. I, 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 I don't know if you're in funny land or real land. I don't think you'd be in. I don't want to feel it. But they don't, there's no teeth involved. That's what if she starts dirty talking with her teeth while she's topping? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Have what you guys this? seen the uh, the dentures girl glow up on TikTok? She went no. viral a while ago, but this no. video is fucking crazy. It's not funny. You're just whatever video you are and then whatever gender. Yeah. Yo, are you the white claw guy? Are you the dentures girl? <laughs> oh, I've seen, seen this. this. I've seen this. Fuck. Shoddy. Dude, dude, Play it again. dude. I mean, what a. <laughs> Pause it. Yeah. She's a gas station attendant right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's who you buy menthol cigarettes from. And play it, please. Okay. The teeth do so much work. This the teeth did so much, but she also did a makeup and a hair and everything. But I think even just just <clears throat> teeth with no makeup, beautiful. It's crazy how Sir. much the how much the <laughs> teeth they're carrying. Oh, for it's it's, a, it's they're doing a lot of heavy lifting. Yeah, for sure. Well, you're just not used to seeing it. If 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 thirty percent of the population of girls our age didn't have teeth, you would be like, oh, it's no. But like this, you're like, wow, it looks weird. I mean, she goes from a gas station attendant to someone who works like TJ Maxx to someone who's like a bottle service girl. Just yeah. by putting it on makeup and teeth. That's crazy. <laughs> makeup and teeth is a wild sentence. Look at that. I mean, Hot. for real. Hot. You you would meet her at a club and you'd yeah. be like, wow, she's so nice. Let's let's go back. She's super, you know, you guys are hitting it off. You go back. She takes her teeth out. The only advantage is when she takes her teeth out, she can't talk that much. <laughs> <laughs> These hashtags are hilarious. What is that? Fake teeth check. <laughs> Snap, what was that? With or without teeth? Who is clicking these hashtags? <laughs> Dentures and And then just the random hashtag scream movie. <laughs> Please, can you type or click the uh, the hashtag teeth or no teeth? Uh, yes. That sounds like something Drew Carey yeah. would host. <laughs> Funny. Welcome back to teeth or no teeth. Oh, this is her hashtag. How many followers do you have? Her shirt says TikTok famous. Um, here's the thing though. Let's be positive here. And when I say let's be positive, I'm pointing at myself. Congrats. Cause she got the teeth. She she seems like a like a bubbly fun person. Capital. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. do what you do what you have. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm Make all the for best it. of it. I'm all for it. So you'd be you'd be okay with it. I wouldn't yeah, want to know. Would try it. I wouldn't want to know in the moment. If you if we're at dinner and she's like, hey, I, this is kind of weird. I just want to let you know that like but and takes it out, whatever. Okay, cool. At least I know. At dinner? You better hope she ordered applesauce. God. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is. It is what it I is. I just don't like surprises, dog. Especially the surprise on that level. Yeah, but what if you didn't know? What if? What if she's under the blanket? Also, in movies, they always give head under a blanket. It's gotta be so hot down it's there. It's so hot, but they can't show it. Obviously, 
<laughs> it could. But what if you're down there and then she takes them out? You don't really know. And you're like, God, that's the best head ever. And then she comes up and goes, I wonder why. Dude, I think that people are equating good head to no teeth. I think it's probably worse. You don't use your teeth when you're given head. So it shouldn't matter. You don't there's know. Still so much, there's so much more room, you know? For activities and your yeah. homie. Yeah. You bring your homie in. <laughs> All I'm saying, don't so knock it until you try it. All right, so you're saying you're going to go to an ice hockey rink to find a date. Yeah. Hey! Blow a whistle. <laughs> Take your teeth out. And then she blows a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> isn't blue face baby lady, doesn't she, isn't she missing the, some teeth? I don't know what's going on in that relationship. It's, yeah. Anyways. All right, secret stock time. Let's do it. Anonymous submission. Uh, this says, I got caught gooning by my grandma. Cock out, baby oil in hand. <laughs> we never talked about it. Well, to be honest, that many screens, she probably thought you were doing like some security job for the mall. <laughs> like, yeah, she mom, didn't know what was happening. Yeah, a mom can't handle, an, like a grandma can't handle an iPad. No. To walk in on nine screens with eight tits, she probably thought she was just drunk and seeing different vision. <laughs> yeah, she was like, oh, my dementia's kicking in and just fucking bounced. <laughs> uh, that's a wild thing to walk in on. It is a wild thing to go from that to her making you fucking chocolate chip cookies in 13 minutes after that. I feel like grandmas are just desensitized. I mean, they live through a war. They're like, good, get your tits, Kevin. Of course. You you live through two wars and a depression. As long as you eat your Who vegetables. Gives shit? Yeah. I feel like it's all under as long as you eat your vegetables. You know? Doesn't really matter. Are vegetables good for you even? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm serious, dude. Yes. Every, no, no. Everything that anyone tells you that you've known since you were a kid, it's all fake. <laughs> It's all fake. We're at that point I in the episode. Yes, yes. Because I guarantee you, Gabe's going to look this up and there are vegetables that they yell at I mean, us to parts eat about and it. it's not good. They're like, oh, well, well, well that's how good fruit you, was. Is it? That's, huh? how, that's how fruit was. Like yeah. when I found out naked juice had like 100 grams of sugar, I was like, what yeah. the fuck are we even doing here? No one knows what's happening. Nutrition's not real. The government <laughs> owns everything. You think we have agency? We got no fucking agency. Gabe's a goddamn fed for sure. If Gabe's a fed, then what is Jack? J Here's the thing. Jack would be the easiest to get at. I think the FBI could turn you in three seconds. <laughs> to what? Do you know how much footage they have of you fucking jerking off the banana peels? <laughs> they can turn you in two seconds. Ugh. Vegetables um, do contain a lot of toxins. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Um, you, You're gonna be that guy on a date? Go goes, y'all get that fucking cauliflower toast. I don't know if that's real, but it should be. <laughs> he went, you're really getting vegetables? Yes. There's toxins? Well, you're just eating a T-bone dipped in marinara? <laughs> oh, dude. T-bone steak and ketchup, someone fight me. What the fuck? It's so good. Boy, Nobody it's good. wants to fight you. You're a psychopath. It's so good. T-bone and steak. What do you dip your steak in? Steak sauce. Fucking idiot. It's what? in the name. A1? So, A1's phenomenal. Ew! A1's phenomenal. Ew, dude. It's like balsamic fuck ketchup and had a kid. I don't like it. I, it A1 is so trashy. You literally put ketchup on a steak. That's the most disrespectful thing you can ever do to a chef. It's not. Well, what if about, you're cooking? Uh, what about Italian dressing on a steak? What the fuck? I mean, it's fine. Your dad is an ankle monitor, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it feels like you open the fridge hoping there was a different sauce and you didn't have it. Ketchup, weird. I get it. Mustard on a steak, gunshot. But yeah. people make- um, Sweet and sour on a steak? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Check his browsing history. But people do like <laughs> <laughs> mustard. <laughs> Saying check his browsing history is a hilarious thing to do with strangers. The Starbucks employee, <laughs> I don't know if I can make an oat milk latte. Check his browsing history. <laughs> Are you a big uh, clear your history guy? No. I, I live I live a, alone now. I cleared the fuck out of my what history. What the fuck are you searching for is a better question. It's I think it's just out of habit. Because my ex would like use my computer sometimes. And the last thing I want is like, foot I, POV goth bitch. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't want Here's that in thing. there. I would just buy her a new computer. Who? Whoever your ex was. Yeah, but that's kind of sus if you just come on with a new Mac. Like, here you Merry go. Merry Christmas. It's June. Well, don't check my browser history. <laughs> Uh, All right, is that, that, is that, that another installment of the stiffest socks in a goddamn Great episode. world? So fun, man. Let's keep going. <laughs> we have a Patreon to do. We do. Live, laugh, love. If you walk into an apartment and, and a girl has that on her uh, she's on her not, wall, she's giving you a, an atrocious hand job. Atrocious hand job. She has a cat and she hates her mom. And <laughs> she's women hate their moms. Do we? Suck it. I I disagree. Really? I think a woman, a, a lady who hates, hates their, their mom. Has like emotional problems. A woman who hates her dad will fucking top you off on the top of a goddamn just swing set. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to picture like, is she up on top of the swing yeah. set? Yes. She's waiting for yes. you to make the fall. I mean. <laughs> oh, I was thinking opposite. I mean. She was on the swings with Matt Lopin going to you. And then okay. just, that hurt. That's a real big hit or miss. Yeah. Unless she doesn't have teeth, guys. That is another installment of the stiffest socks in the goddamn world. Thank you so much for turn, my dick off. turn it off. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. That's it. Thank you guys so much for support. Also, friend and reminder, we have a god darn Patreon. Four extra episodes drops every Friday, ad free. Um, and then also we have Stiff Socks Plus on Apple. If you're the Apple kind of person, uh, it is the audio only. So same bonus episodes. Uh, that is only five dollars a month as well. So go get on that if you want some more Stiff Socks. Um, and that is it. Uh, come see Trev and I on tour. And uh, we love you guys. Bye.